Kate Middleton pregnant. Keyway Duchess broke royal tradition with William amid pregnancy. Kate Middleton and her husband Prince William broke with royal tradition in a key way while she gave birth to her first son Prince George, unearthed accounts reveal. The Duchess of Cambridge has sparked speculation she may be keen to have a fourth child to join her other children within her young family. Appearing on the Happy Mum, Happy Baby podcast, Kate spoke at length regarding her pride about being a mother as well as discussing the impact being a parent had had on her and Prince William. Speculation has also mounted after Princess Eugenie announced she was expecting her first child with husband Jack Brooks Bank, sending royal family fans into meltdown. But while she was pregnant for the first time, Kate and William decided to break away from more usual royal practices, with the Duke of Cambridge determined to be by his wife's side while she gave birth. Speaking before George's birth, Royal historian Robert Lacey said, When Charles was born, Prince Philip played squash here at the palace. When Prince William was born, Prince Charles went off and played polo. I think we're getting to see the first royal birth where the father himself is present at the birth and sees his new child come into the world. Mr. Lacey also exposed a key way William would be different to his father Prince Charles, and grandfather Prince Philip with regards to supporting Kate through her pregnancy. He told Good Morning America in 2012, I think we will see a very ordinary pregnancy, a very open pregnancy. Already the details of what's happening to Kate are not being hidden as would have been the case in the past. And we're seeing the concern of a very modern husband going to see her in the hospital every day. At the time of Mr. Lacey's comments, Kate was in hospital after suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum an acute morning sickness which requires supplementary hydration and nutrients. She was sent to hospital just after the baby announcement, with Clarence House confirming the Duchess was due to stay in for several days before requiring a period of rest after her visit. And for Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, the royals may have been reluctant to confirm the news of her pregnancy at the time. She said, well they didn't want to let it out because she's still probably about the 10-week mark but they knew that once Kate was seen going into the hospital, that it was going to be out of their hands and then the media would have control of the announcement. George was born in 2013 inside St. Mary's Hospital's Linda Wing, the same space William and his brother Prince Harry were welcomed into the world. Kate and William would go on to have Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, both in the London hospital. Earlier this year, the Duchess opened up on life as a mother to royal children, as well as the future heir to the throne. She told Happy Baby, Happy Mum that she believed all mothers suffer from mum guilt, and that anyone who doesn't as a mother is lying. The royal added, There's such a pull, but I am such a hands-on mum, and whatever you're doing you want to make sure you're doing the uttermost best job you can for your children.